What's going on my Raspy Riders? Today we're going to be starting on part 1 of my insane 72 volt Anioki build. We're going to be making a DIY battery bag to protect this 30 amp hour and 50 amp hour monster. And it's all going to cost less than $10. All we need are scissors, some duct tape, some of the foam that came with the packaging of the batteries, and some material that I got from Joann's, which is a fabric store. I got this fake leather material. I got a bunch of it for the cost of $7.34. Ideally, you're going to be wanting to use some type of hard casing, like an ammo can or one of those cages that you see on the Ride One Up Rev One bikes or even the Super 73s. But since I don't really have those options, I'm going to be using some styrofoam, and some fake leather. Now this bag probably won't protect your battery if you get into a head-on collision that has direct impact on your battery, but it will protect it from some scratches, some nicks, some dings, and even some light rain. Alright, we're going to get started by adding some foam on each side, and we're just going to cut it so that it completely protects all of the edges. And we're going to attach it by using some strong duct tape. It doesn't have to look pretty because the entire thing will be wrapped in that fake leather that we got. Okay, we're just going to cut off a little bit of the excess right here. Next, we're just going to be adding some duct tape to hold it down. We're going to duct tape this side. Now we do the same thing for these sides. So we're going to add some foam to the top and bottom of the battery also. But over here, we're going to cut out a little U shape so that it can go around the discharge and charging connectors. We got our U shape right here. Fits like a glove. Now more duct tape. When it's all wrapped up on all sides, it looks something like this. Now we're going to get started with wrapping it with the material that we bought. All we got to do is wrap it like a Christmas present. And if you're not good at wrapping gifts, then ask your mom or your grandma. Because my mom is a professional at wrapping gifts. It always looks pretty. We're going to move to the ground. I'm just guesstimating my measurements. Oh, yeah, make sure you don't cut your wires. We're wrapping this up right now. Just going to add some duct tape. Looking pretty good. Imagine if we lived in a world without duct tape. That's not a world I want to live in. I want to pull on the fabric so that it's tied against the battery. Now for this material on the bottom, we're going to fold it like a present. We're going to push the edges in first, fold up the bottom, and bring down the top. And then we're just going to add some tape right here. Now this side gets a little tricky because of these wires. So I'm probably just going to make a slit right here so that I can bring up this fold. Okay, after everything's wrapped up and taped up, it should look something like this. Pretty good, right? It's not a professional job, but for less than $10, it's pretty damn good. It's got some good padding too. And if you feel like you need some more protection, you can always add more foam also. But not bad for do-it-yourself. I'm going to do the same thing to the 50 amp hour battery. It's the same process, but it's a little more difficult because it's such a heavy battery. But I'm going to end this video here. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace!